for those of you who just joined, uh, we'll be starting in about one more minute. But if you want to sign up for uh, KD University, go go to KD uh, sorry, go to keydigital.com uh, and click KD University and uh, set up your profile uh, for a training profile, and then um, we'll get you approved. You can start doing all that training for free. Uh, you can get CDA credits or CTS credits if you are uh, certified in those. And that's a great way to learn a lot about uh, not just our products, but, uh, but uh, the whole genre of uh, digital video as well. Thanks, Dwayne. And it is nine o'clock. Uh, my name is Chris Scanlon. I'm actually joined here, as you just heard, with Dwayne Rains from Key Digital. Uh, without further ado, Dwayne, I'll just actually let you hop right into it. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We know how valuable your time is, so I'm going to go through. Um, first, introduce myself. I am the National Sales Manager for the southern half of the United States for Key Digital. Um, I've got 20 plus years experience as an integrator, so I've got a little um, expertise uh, with managing projects in the field, so I can feel your pain. Uh, I'm also a C3 Compass Control Pro certified uh, master programmer, uh, as Ms. Mr. Scanlon is as well. Uh, I've been a master programmer since 2012. So I love Key Digital. I've been, uh, been with Key Digital now for a little over a year and a half on this side. I was a dealer with them for probably 12 years prior to that. And uh, we just keep coming out with some really cool products. And now uh, today we're going to be talking about our. Um, various conference room in a box systems. And the, the title is a little misleading now because in the midst of the pandemic, uh, it's not just conference rooms, but it's remote offices and, and all kinds of different remote classrooms, hybrid classrooms, as we sometimes call it. We'll get into all that as we do this today. So if you have any questions, please put them in the box. Chris is gonna be monitoring those. And Chris, you can interrupt me at any time uh, because if, if a question pops up, it, we don't want to wait two or three slides and then have to go back. So just uh, just interrupt me at any time. So first, we're going to get into the presentation solutions section. This is an overview of our uh, product lines under our presentation solution area. Uh, here you can see a couple of our uh, actually we've added some here, which is really nice. We originally came out with our KDPS 42 uh, presentation switcher for input to output. And we'll talk about that. Uh, our PS52U came out shortly after. And now we've just added our UFS 42, which is nice. Uh, UFS stands for universal format switcher. And uh, we'll talk about that. And then um, our, the PS22 UTX, which is a, is a presentation switcher uh, to input but it's, uh, it's actually a transmit, um, HD-based-T transmitter. So it can be used in conjunction with those others uh, or not, and or just straight into a, a receive unit. Uh, our very popular can, KD Cam USB, as well as our KD X USB 2 extender. So you can extend the USB 2 signal for the camera or any other device, uh, keyboard, mouse, whatever, any USB 2 device up to 50 meters, we'll get into that as well. So I'm probably getting ahead of myself. Um, so let's kick into it here. Here's a, here's a typical situation for a small conference room, which is what we originally designed all these products in mind for the market. Um, and then now with COVID has changed some of the things, but here you go, uh, right here we've got, uh, you can see our uh, it's complete solution. The nice thing is it can be, done with our KD app, so no programming. So I mentioned Compass Control, um, but we also have our free app, okay, which is a KD app, I'm downloaded straight off the app store. So there's no programming, but you can change the names and stuff of the buttons with our KDMS software also free. It's great for video conferencing, you know, switching, controlling the PTZ camera, etc. So in this room here, you can see you've got the PTZ camera up top. We're actually running the control both for the camera and the USB back through the receive unit, back to the switcher, and then uh, running out the audio into our KD amplifier, which is a little two by 20 watt. We'll talk about that here in a little bit as well. And you can see we've got our uh, 
four by one UTX uh, wall plate actually in a tabletop desktop box. I've got that here in my office as well. So that adds some additional inputs that can then run directly into the HD base T input of the PS42. The nice thing is you can see we're agnostic to any uh, video conferencing software. So it can be, uh, you know, Skype, uh, Zoom, as we're doing now, WebEx, you, you know, anything. We don't care. And uh, it's just whatever the laptop comes in, plugs in. You can plug both the HDMI out of the laptop in as well as connect USB so you can uh, get the camera in, um, et cetera. And so it's all right there. Pretty uh, economical solution, as we call it, conference room in a box. So here's the different pieces there. Um, I think the last slide had the UPS 42, but here you can see our UPS 52U. It's got two HDMI inputs um, and then uh, a display port input as well as USB. You can run that as the, in host mode or device mode with the USB, so that's nice. Our CAM USB, here we're showing our USB 2 extender I mentioned before. And you'll notice it has actually two USB ports on it. Um, it'll run, I think, 400 megabytes per second through that. Our camera only uses up 100, uh, so that works great. And then there's a couple of our wall plates that work with the UPS 52U. This is our KDX 3x1 WUTX, which has, a, this is a really nice plate because it's got HDMI and VGA plus display port, plus USB. And as you can see with the buttons there, you can actually do CEC control over the HDMI. So you can turn, if the, if the display has CEC capability enabled, you can turn the display on and off uh, and volume up and down right there on the keypad there or in our KD app as well without any extra cabling. It's straight through the HDMI cable. The other plate there is our uh, Mac Daddy uh, KDX 4x1 WUTX got two uh, HDMI's, a USB-C display port, as well as USB connectivity. Uh, you can pass IR through these as well. It's got full EDID settings there on the 4x1 WUTX. It's kind of hard to see that in between. Also has a cover plate that goes over so you don't see the control dials, like similar to what you see on the 3x1. And again, um, KD App Ready, you can run these. You don't have to run them through the UPS 52U. You can run them straight into uh, the KDX 100 MRX. So basically you can have a small switching unit right there and go straight out of the MRX into the display. And then of course our KD PS 22 UTX, which is really nice. It's got two HDMI inputs. It's also got a pass through on that little device. So for a local monitor, which is also nice. Uh, the PS52U is two out, but the outs are mirrored, so you can have one for the host uh, or one for the room, and then the other on a display in the back of the room, so when you're presenting, you can use it as your confidence monitor. Here's the three by one, as I was mentioning now, you can see it a little closer. You can see the EDID control has uh, forced hot plug detection to keep your uh, connection live in case uh, your display maybe doesn't have um, a good strong EDID uh, signal coming out or something like that. We can force the EDID uh, as well. Um, and then uh, as you see, you can do IR and RS-232 pass through on this um, and, uh, and then the control through CEC with the buttons. And uh, so that's really nice little plate. That's actually a new wall plate. Uh, it's got audio de-embedding on it as well. Uh, you can go up to 100 meters or 328 feet it's a big conference room. <laughs> so uh, it is a triple gang uh, wall plate. So uh, you would need triple gang uh, box or uh, back box for the wall or desktop box or uh, drop in box, etc. cetera. Uh, as I mentioned, the USB can be host or device mode, et cetera. So uh, really nice little plate there. Here's the PS22 UTX. This is kind of an under the table uh, box. It can be with two HDMI inputs with the HDMI passer I mentioned. Nice thing about this is also can be used as a, as a really high powered HDM, HD base T extender uh, transmitter and use it with the 100 MRX and, uh, and it's a switcher as well. And it's app ready uh, to, to run. Um, so uh, play with that and take a look, you know, get on our website, look through the specs. It's really, really nice. 
Uh, also, you, it says you can do CEC control. Uh, yes, I believe you can, but you can't do camera control with it. So um, even though our app shows that you can, that is one thing I'm trying to get them to fix on the app. So anyway, here's a typical setup with the PS22 UTX going straight into a KDX uh, 100 MRX receive unit. So no, no presentation switcher other than the PS22 UTX itself. Um, and then uh, the cam USB is running back through the, uh, uh, the cat cable through the MRX back into the PS52 UTX. And uh, so that works out nicely there. And then, um, you know, running audio out into the USB wall speaker and also doing PT, also doing control via CEC of the TV. So real simple setup with only, you know, three of our SKUs right there. And you can do two inputs there, you know, two laptops, uh, very simple. Here it is uh, now adding a powered speaker in case you're not, you know, for the, uh, as well, um, or for your secondary display, or you can just uh, let it run through the HDMI as well. So uh, here we are using it with our preamp, uh, actually amp or preamp mode. Here, this is doing a preamp mode with the amp 220 to run to a larger amp for a distributed 70 volt type system. It also is two uh, 20 watt outputs, so you can just run ceiling, eight ohm ceiling speakers as well. And then just uh, connect it directly in because uh, we're, we're connecting it into a projector that has an HD base T input in this scenario. So you don't even need the 100 MRX in that scenario. Any questions with that? Okay. Cam USB, one of our really popular items right now. Um, this is a 1080p, uh, 30 frames a second pan is 170 tilt down 30 up 90. The zoom is a 10x optic. Uh, it's, uh, it's an optical zoom. It is not a digital zoom. So you're not pixelating a picture. You've seen cameras that will say, yeah, it's a 5x, but up to 150x <laughs> digital, and then you, when you try to look at it, you can't even tell what it is. Uh, autofocus, which is very quick. It's plug and play. It's a USB camera, so you can go straight into your laptop. Uh, but it, it's pan tilt zoom. So we actually have now come out with uh, a version of our KDMS software. So if you're you loaded on your laptop, you can actually control the camera via the USB cable. Uh, and not necessarily have to do it through RS-232 with some kind of uh, interface. So that's a really nice development, and that software is free as well. Uh, and it just kind of works as an overlay on what you're doing when you're in a conference. So if you have any questions about that, let us know. It's got uh, presets. I have a demo rig set up right here <clears throat> in my office with our AV over IP, but I've got my camera set up with, with shots already set in the presets so I can – go from my presenting position to the screen, to the wider shot showing me running the running with the KD app, et cetera. So those presets are really nice. When you're doing it into, in a control system, you can set presets for the room, center, you know, up close, center far away, left, right, et cetera. And then uh, you can do more than one camera because they are addressable uh, dip switches underneath. Um, all the, all the mounting brackets come included. You don't have to order them separately. So you have version of wall mount can go right side up, upside down, or ceiling mount, obviously, usually that'll be upside down, of course. Uh, but all of that is in the box. And so this is a really, really cool unit. MSRP on this piece is just over $800. So you can imagine what your dealer cost is through capital. It's very, very cost effective and a really, really nice piece. So. Uh, and then if you need to extend that signal, again, here is this USB 2 extender. This is a very hot product. And uh, so um, you can go up to 50 meters or 164 feet. As I mentioned, 480 megabytes. I think it's a 400, uh, almost 500 megabytes. Uh, power over uh, the CAT cable. Um, you know, you can, again, just two inputs uh, for devices, hub compatible up to 15 devices. It's basically plug and play, Windows, Mac, OS, uh, or Linux. Um, so it's it's really well. You can see how big the network jack is. So you can that's uh, and 
That'll give you the scale for how big this unit is. It's very small, very compact, mounted under a desk, mounted, it's just real, really handy. And, um, and I, you know, I tell people, I say, well, if you want to test it, test it at full 50 meters and no complaints, it's been a really, really cool product. So, and again, very, very inexpensive. So, uh, comfort box for classrooms, mentioned this earlier. This has definitely been a unique uh, time for all of us. And so using several of our products here, uh, you can do the same thing and work in the classroom. And we'll get into the hybrid classroom here in a minute. But again, complete audio video control, no programming. You can do the switching, uh, display control via CEC, uh, speech reinforcement. You know, we don't sell the mic, but we got our little uh, amp or, or you can use this preamp if you need to go bigger. And then uh, front button control to do CEC control on the uh, PS uh, unit, whether it's 42 or uh, the 52U. And here you go. Uh, the 42, you can see the control right there on the front um, as well. And, uh, you know, three HDMI inputs, uh, two outputs. One is HDMI, the other is HDBase T. Does come with the extender kit on the PS42. Same thing with US UFS 42. The difference on the UFS 42, you'll notice it does have a VGA input. Uh, we all would like VGA to go away, but we all know it's still around. So you got two HDMIs, a display port, a VGA. And then you've got our two wall plates here, uh, our 2x1 WDTX and our X2x1 WVTX. Second being our most popular seller because of the VGA and HDMI on it. Nice thing about these two wall plates is you can either switch them on the button on the wall. And again, they can go straight into the X40 MRX without going through the switchers. Uh, and it's a two by one, basically. Um, but you can also hold that button down and make it auto sense the HDMI. So when you plug a laptop in, it automatically switches to there. So that's nice. Um, so CEC control of the displays, whether it's uh, through the PS units, uh, single power connection, so it's running power over the cat to the to everything else. So, and again, KD app ready. If you don't have our KD app, go to the app store. If you've got an iPad, download it because the cool thing about our KD app is uh, all of the demos. So you can go into each one of these pieces and just see what it'll do in demo mode, and it's it's very nice. So take take advantage of that. Uh, the UFS 42. Now, this is new. As I said, it's got the two HDMIs, the DisplayPort, and VGA. Same output scenario. Now, these are mirrored, as I said before. One, one HDMI and one HD base T includes the RX unit. You can audio the embed, as you see there, both digital and analog. Uh, also, you can do RS-232 control of the camera, and uh, et cetera. And we'll show how that works here in a little bit. Mentioned a couple of times our AMP220. Here's a little closer look up here. It's got inputs for you know your video input as well as a mic input. And uh, so the input can be left or right, stereo, balanced or unbalanced, et cetera. Uh, and then output, same way. If you want to go preamp, you can do that. Or if you want to go amplified, remember it's not a 70 volt amp, it is a low impedance 2 by 20 watt. But if, usually that'll handle any conference room or small classroom, et cetera. But you can go preamp out if you need bigger. So, um, and this is app controllable as well. And uh, so it's got an external IR sensor on as well <clears throat> to pass IR through uh, to another device if you need to through the RX unit. So here is uh, here's our CAM USB using our USB 2 extender, X USB 2 extender. Uh, so you can see the cam USB just going straight in there. And uh, you can, in this scenario, you're going to be controlling the US, the, the PTZ camera, probably with the remote. Uh, but uh, actually, you can wire it from, through the RX unit and control it with the app through the PS42. So you can do all that. And then you can see down here the display on, off, volume up and down. Um, works uh, as well for the CEC control of the display. So again, all these systems are pretty simple. They don't take a ton of equipment and zero programming. And so when you go into the software, uh, you can hide things you don't have, like if you don't have the microphone. So you can just 
uncheck that box and it goes away in your app. So a lot of cool things. Hybrid classrooms, I'm really excited about these solutions because this is something that we offer very well where the teacher can be teaching and all our students can be at home viewing from a student perspective. Here the cam USB looks like it's pointing back, but if you set that from a student perspective, watching the teacher, and then she can have, um, you know, her lesson plan up there. They can they can see it all. She can have presets with that camera. Right here, you see we're using a Pro 2x1x because the reason we're doing that, that's one of just our simple 2x1s instead of a presentation product because we have uh, RSC32 control with that. So that's what we're doing there uh, and using the an X222PO extender and then the USB 2 extender as well. Here's the, here's the version I really like. Here we've added a really amazing product that we have. If you haven't looked at this product, the KDBYOD 4K, uh, you need to do so. So here the teacher is teaching. So the camera, imagine the camera is facing the teacher. And so what's on her laptop is up on the display board. The students are watching her. She's got, she is actually using our BYOD in a different manner. It's got a, it's got an, um, an option to use it as a wireless extended monitor. So she's extending her monitor, which has her Zoom call or Zoom class on it on a display in the back of the room so she can see the entire class. They can see her. And you look here, you're one, two, three, four, you know, just a handful of SKUs, uh, not a very big price point, and it's fully remote. They can also be in the classroom, of course. And, uh, and we'll talk about the BYOD. That's one option you can use with it. It's definitely not the primary design of it, but it's a really nice added feature. And we'll talk about it here in a minute. So here's a, a different version uh, with the camera, speakerphone using our four by one WUTX plate so she can have multiple sources, uh, additional sources than what she had before with the UPS 52U and uh, et cetera, additional video sources. So if they want to bring in, she wants to bring in content or play content, et cetera. Just a different uh, setup. And here's a little more elaborate and uh, using the BYOD again as an extended monitor, uh, controlling all of it with KD app. So as we mentioned, free control through CEC. Uh, this is the UPS 52U, similar to the 42. It's got a little extra. It's got USB capability as well so that the camera can go through it. But you can control, you know, your displays, your monitors. As long as they have CEC capability, which most do nowadays, uh, they do have to be activated. Here's the remote. Uh, you'll notice um, if we show the remote here in a minute, I'm not sure if it's on, on these slides. Uh, the camera remote looks similar to this. Uh, you can also do the camera as well on this remote. This is a remote that comes in with our PS42 and 52U and uh, allows you to see easy control via the remote, input selection, camera control, et cetera. So that's the remote that comes in the box with those units. And here's an example of, of the uh, KD app. Uh, this is using the UPS 52U. You notice uh, the buttons is HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and then the wall plate, if you're using a wall plate, you can go in and change all those. You can say, teach your laptop or whatever will fit on there, but you can actually change those to friendly names. And as you see, you've got camera, display audio. If you don't have a camera hooked up, you just go into setup, uncheck that, that, pan, that tab disappears. Really the easy setup. Again, no programming, just some setup boxes and, and ways to change friendly names, et cetera. So here you go. I probably got ahead of myself a little bit. <clears throat> but uh, it's just another example. No programming, does switching, display control, PTZ control of the camera, speech reinforcement volume on the audio. And you'll see the mic preamp there. Well, if you uncheck that box in the setup, that just disappears. The whole slider and everything just goes away. Here is the, the actual KDMS software, the way it looks. You go here on the side, you choose something, and then you uh, easily make your adjustment there. And I'm going to go a little bit deeper into this, but I'll probably scan through it pretty quick. Here you can see on the left how you can go to the device name. You can change that name. 
you can, and you can change the IP address if then right here if you want to as well. Uh, and the add the property is the unit. And here again, where I'm putting there, when you got a camera and you hit apply, then the camera pops up. Um, so yeah, and here's where I was talking about it, the microphone control. If you don't need it, you uncheck it, the whole slider, everything disappears. And, uh, and here's where you can change the names of the buttons. Um, real simple, real easy to do. Even Chris and I can do this. So uh, don't, don't necessarily want to go deep in the system where Jonathan, our, our national trainer, puts these slides together and he gets pretty intricate. But one thing I will point out when we are, let me see if we get to that. Uh, yeah. So when, when we are doing uh, RS-232 control, we're doing it via IP with our KD app, but then we just kind of do a jumper uh, on the wiring uh, to send it over to, you know, uh, to the AMP220 and then we pass it out through there, et cetera. So a couple of little nice things there, but uh, and here's for the cameos to be similar idea so that it will then flow in through the RX unit. And then you can do RS-232 connection from the RX unit right there by the camera. So you don't need the USB 2 extender in that case. Yeah, see, so just like that. And or you can also do it through the KD amp 220. Easy as one, two, three. Again, you've seen this image. Um, so that is conference room in a box. And uh, we have a lot of products. Check us out at keydigital.com. This is our sales team. Again, I'm Dwayne uh, Rains. We have two Dwaynes, which is kind of unusual. Uh, one of and I'm Dwayne Rains, national sales manager for the southern half of the United States. Scott Craig, who if you've been on one of our earlier uh, webinars, uh, he handles the northern half of the United States. Leon Sinberg is our new account sales manager uh, based up in New York. And then Dwayne Husband is our VP of global sales uh, through distributors such as uh, Capital as well as others. And then over in Europe, we have Jorgen. And then in our Asia Pacific, Avanab heads up our sales force over there. So we want to thank you. And Chris, do we have any questions pop up? We don't have any questions right now, but I do want to make sure you guys all know there's a lot of really, really cool diagrams there that we just saw. Uh, all of those are on the Key Digital website, uh, all right underneath the products. So very a lot of documentation right there in the Key Digital. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can reach out. Anybody here on the screen that you see at Key Digital, uh, probably not Jorgen or uh, I'm not even going to try his name over in Asia, <laughs> but <laughs> the other team in the U.S. will work well. And all your guys at Capital Sales, we're all here to help out. Uh, if there isn't any other questions, uh, Dwayne, I want to thank you for taking time. Yeah, and if you don't want to try to remember how to spell Dwayne, because one of us spells it right and, and then Mr. Husband spells it wrong, uh, just send it to sales at keydigital.com and we all see it. So if you've got a question for us, reach out to us or, of course, reach out to Chris and all your friends at Capital Sales. We want to thank Capital Sales for hosting these uh, webinars. I think we have one more scheduled next week, and then we're going to take a little hiatus for the holidays. And uh, for those of you who are uh, celebrating uh, Thanksgiving next week, uh, stay safe, and uh, and hopefully we'll get through this thing really quick and all get back out on the road a little more. So I'm getting a little a little stir crazy. Thank you guys, and we appreciate your time today. Thank you, Dwayne.